you know, I'm still thinking about this TD Jake stuff about how he was named in the Lil Rod lawsuit against Diddy. And I'm just thinking like, man, because Lil Rod in that in that lawsuit, he named so many different witnesses. I think even like uh, Prince Harry was on there. Uh, obviously, T.D. Jakes was on there. Um, who else was on here? Hold on. Let me see. This article says that they know everybody who was named on it. Um, Stevie J, like a reality TV person. Uh, Nicki Minaj, Cassie, obviously, Young Miami, Donald Lawrence. I don't know who any of those people are. But I'm just thinking like, why would Lil Rod name T.D. Jakes in this lawsuit? Because they follow it up very quickly and they say that, hey, we're not alleging that T.D. Jakes did anything criminal, but, you know, we're still going to name him in this lawsuit. So there's no other reason why they would name him in the lawsuit unless they're trying to also bring him in and use him as a witness because he knows some stuff. He's seen some stuff. And it's interesting because you see all these parties Diddy was known for having all of these parties, right? And all of these celebrities are, 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 all of these celebrities are just so, just worshiping Diddy at these parties, right? But none of these celebrities are talking now. None of them are speaking up now. All of these parties, all these events, all these, you know, all, all of these things, nobody's speaking up now. I even seen this, um, y'all remember this? Let me see if I can show y'all this. Hold on. I should have it. I should have it. Um, Is it this one right here? Oh, no. Hold on. I got it. 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 This right here. Everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. Everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. LeBron James. Ain't no party like a Diddy party. <laughs> I'll listen. You gotta you gotta clarify what you mean by that. Because now we're starting to 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 really see the fruits of that statement. And also, I'm just thinking back to, you remember what Lecrae said? Do I have a video? Hold on, let me see. We'll say is that one particular party, lots of big names. No, you remember what Lecrae said. You remember Lecrae said, this was a video right here. I'm not going to play it, but because I already made a video about this. But Lecrae said he was at a Diddy party and somebody had came up to him and somebody said, hey, you don't want to be here past 1 a.m. And then it was like 12 or, you know, 12 in the morning, like 1230, 1245 at night. And Lecrae said he saw like dudes just getting hot and heavy. This, this was his words, just out in the open, just going at it hot and heavy. But that's an interesting statement because I was watching this video on YouTube from one of Diddy's former bodyguards. And one of Diddy's former bodyguards essentially said the same thing, that those were pretty much normal events at Diddy's parties. And even there's a clip, and I don't have all these clips right now, so I apologize, but there's a clip, I think it's it's the dude who played in Stomp the Yard. Who was the dude who played in Stomp the Yard? I keep forgetting his name. Um, Columbus Short. Columbus Short said something, and I think also Brandon T. Jackson said something as well. I think I have the, the, uh, wait, wait, wait. No, I have the Brandon T. Jackson one. Hold on. Denzel always told me we'd be at the parties. He said, you leave, leave 30 minutes for the devil get there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and, and when he would say that, I will always remember that Denzel would leave the parties early. Mm. And I follow Denzel out. I'm out. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Because when you leave 30 minutes for the devil get there, there's nothing wrong with going to the parties. Even Christ party with the sinners you know what i mean mm. but when you yeah yeah i don't know about all that the sinners hang, hung around christ like the the sinners were attracted and were drawn to christ christ wasn't trying to go and 
get lit and, you know, do all that type of stuff with the centers. But I see what he's trying to say. You leave 30 minutes for the devil get there. You know, you able to have your integrity. I meant off screen. It's not what you do on screen. What you do off screen is more important. You know, I've mm. never, ever had to sell my body sexually mm. for any roles. Mm. God covered me. And never have any studio head came on to me sexually or, or, you know, I know that happens in the industry. Never had that happen to me. When I got the audition for my films, I read, I prayed, I fasted. You know what I mean? I fasted for my roles. You know what I mean? And uh, I didn't fast for Big Mamas, but... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, every role I've done... I think, ironically, that was the one where he was in a dress, wasn't it? But, nonetheless, not to discredit what he said. Because, here's what I'm thinking. Lecrae said it. Lecrae said, hey, so-and-so came up to me and said, hey, you better leave before 1 o'clock. Brandon T. Jackson said Denzel told him, you got to leave the party 30, min 30 minutes early. I'm thinking. It's purely speculation. I'm thinking. T.D. Jakes. He ain't leave them parties 30 minutes early. T.D. Jakes ain't leave the party before 1 o'clock. That's what I'm thinking. And what I mean by that is clearly he has seen some stuff. And Lil Rod who put this new lawsuit against Diddy, which is a sexual assault lawsuit. So this isn't connected to the trafficking lawsuit. This is a separate sexual assault lawsuit. And I'm not 100% I'm not positive that this Little Rod lawsuit is a criminal lawsuit. But I think, and this is just me completely being, um, uh, what do you call it? It's like a backseat driver. I'm being like a backseat detective. I'm just thinking if you already have a pool of witnesses who have witnessed some heinous activities that were that were going on at these Diddy parties, why wouldn't you use that information from this lawsuit in order to help you further prosecute in the sex trafficking lawsuit? I'm just thinking TD probably knows some stuff. He's been around some stuff. He's seen some stuff. And there was there was clearly a laid out plan, according to the lawsuit. It said that he has irrefutable evidence that Diddy was going to leverage his relationship with T.D. Jakes in order to basically clear his name in the media. I don't know what that was going to look like. As I said in my last video, I don't know if that meant Diddy was going to do a sermon on forgiveness or I don't know what that was going to look like. Like, it, 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 I'm, I'm sure it was a lot more detailed and strategic than that. But it's interesting. I'm also kind of thinking about... I'm thinking about a few things that came out recently. I don't have all the articles in front of me. I'm, I'm really just talking. But there was a there was some information that came out um, recently. I think Fox News was one of the first to report on it. But it said when they went through Diddy's homes. It said when they went through Diddy's homes, they found that essentially the entire place. Was bugged. The entire place had cameras, audio, all of that in every single room. So you could imagine that over the course of however many crazy freak off parties that they had, there was probably a good amount. There was probably a good amount of evidence, video evidence that would incriminate a lot of celebrities who intent who attended these parties. And potentially this could have been an opportunity for Diddy to use that incriminating evidence as blackmail to get certain people to do or say certain things throughout the industry. This is just purely speculation. I'm just wondering if we have or if we will see any of these videos come out. Because I'm kind of feeling like we're not going to see any of these things come out. I'm kind of feeling like if they have all of this tape for how, however many years of all these parties and all these interactions of all these powerful people, I'm kind of feeling like we're never going to see it. 
Because what would it benefit from an investigation standpoint to make that information public? Like we're still waiting on the complete list of, did we ever get the full list of names from the Epstein stuff? Like, I don't know if we're ever going to see it. It kind of feels like a similar situation. It feels like a similar situation. Now, I don't know why, and maybe this is just me being ignorant because I don't know how PR works. I don't know how, how press works. Like I'm, I'm very new to this media world, but I don't know why TD Jakes has not said anything publicly about what's going on. I'm not sure what that strategy is. It, 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 it kind of confuses me. This is his Twitter. Um, the last thing he posted was on the 28th. He's talking about uh, Wells Fargo, I think. He's got a partnership with Wells Fargo. Yo, TD Jakes is getting a bag from Wells Fargo. Nobody really talks about that. But I think he turned off his replies. Yeah, he turned off his replies. I don't know what the heck is 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 the deal. You would think that he would come out and get ahead of it and say something, but it just kind of leads me to believe that there might be some more information that uh that he knows that he's being told to keep quiet at this point in time. Purely speculation. This is purely speculation. This is purely speculation. All right. I'm also thinking about um, I don't know. Did y'all see what Candace Owens said about? Um, did you see what he what she said about Diddy? I thought this was very interesting. This is what Candace Owens tweeted. She said the feds are currently raiding Diddy's house. They already knew what he was. I'm sorry. They already knew what he was up to, but he is going to be the fall guy so that they can protect the people at the top of the ring. They are raiding his home to hide the evidence, not to find it. This is how that's how this works. And this is exactly kind of what I was saying is. If the story is true from Fox News, which was alluding to the idea that Diddy's entire homes were bugged. And that he has all of these years of, of tape and video and recording of all these different celebrities. There's obviously going to be some incriminating stuff on that. Potentially some incriminating stuff that are going to be directly involving some very powerful people. Because Diddy knows and he hangs around with some very powerful people. Let's not forget that dude is a billionaire. So this would be very interesting. The feds are currently raiding Diddy's house. They already knew what he was up to, but he was going to be the fall guy so, they, so that they can protect the people at the top of the ring. They are raiding his home to hide the evidence, not to find it. That's how this works. Hmm. This is one of those stories, perfect example of be mindful of the individuals that you associate with. I'm not sure what the draw between T.D. Jakes and Diddy was. It had to have been some type of I don't know. I, I I I I really don't know. I don't know why T D Jakes was associating himself with Diddy for the amount of years that he was associate uh, associating himself with Diddy for. Um. Like I understand we have a call to to preach the gospel to all the nations to to reach the lost to be the light in the darkness, but you can't just be hanging out in the dark for no reason. Like you. You, you got to be on purpose and you have to be very mindful of 
your environment. Because the devil is seeking to steal, kill, and destroy. And that's exactly what he will do if you are not mindful. If you are not aware. And this, either way you slice it, it's just not, it's not a good look either way you slice it. And I don't, I don't know the general consist, con, consensus, consens, consensus. I don't know the general consensus of how everybody feels about TD Jakes. Um, I'm in this, I'm, I'm from the standpoint of, I never really listened to his teachings. I kind of saw through what it was, um, and what it is. And it's not for me. Um, you know, and I, wouldn't necessarily recommend people to go and, and consume, you know, his teachings. That's just me personally. But at the same time, it's like, I understand he has a huge congregation of people and my heart goes out to them from the standpoint of, are you truly being a good steward and a good shepherd to the flock that has been entrusted to you? Because it seems like you're leading them astray. And it seems like they'll pretty much follow whatever you tell them to do. And I'm just keep reminded of what TD Jake said. I just, it just keeps playing in my head on replay is how he said, you know, I didn't do what they said I did, but even if I did do it, all I got to do was genuinely repent and the blood of Jesus will cover me for all of that. But I didn't do it. It just seems like high level word manipulation and it just feels very disingenuine, especially when you have a case of this magnitude in a case that is involving minors. Like we're talking about the trafficking of, of, of minors as well. There was there was a report that Diddy was using his son who was like 25 years old, 25, 26. Um, but he looks like younger than that. He probably looks like 18 or 19, but he's 25 or 26. There's reports that Diddy was using his son in order to attract minors to the parties so that they could groom and manipulate them as well. So I, I it's I don't know. Number one, it's interesting that no none of Diddy's celebrity friends are speaking up and saying, hey, like I stand with Diddy. And it's also interesting that like the people who are directly named in these lawsuits have not spoken out and said anything to essentially, you know, clear their own names. It's like, so you all are all y'all working with the feds? Like what, what? It's just, I, I don't know. This, I, I wasn't expecting this year to go like this. Like this, is, there's so much craziness and wickedness and just so much deception going on right now. And when you involve the church, quote unquote, into that, the confusion just, the devil is just having a, a blast. <laughs> The devil is having a blast. Like the real ones understand. Like the real ones can see right through it in terms of TD Jakes, but I'm sure there's a handful of Christians who are like confused, like, yo, what is going on? And I just don't want the confusion to be detrimental to their faith, you know? Um, I always say this because it's true. You know, Pastors serve a pivotal role in ministry, in 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 teaching and in pointing us towards Jesus Christ. But we got to understand they're just people. People are sinful. People are flawed. People will always let you down, but God will never let you down. Remember that your faith is in Jesus Christ, not in anyone walking on this earth, but in Jesus Christ, the only one who was fully man and fully God, who walked this earth, who lived the life that we should have lived and died the death that we should have died. Our faith is in him. I just, I'm very curious to see what happens um, in reference to T.D. Jake's involvement in this whole thing, um, because I have a feeling that there's way more people involved than what we could ever imagine. And I'll be here for it when it comes out. You know what I mean? I'll be here for it. Um, let me know what y'all think. Get in my comments. Like this video. I'm out, y'all.